Perhaps a little cooler here in the stadium than it was when they ran the semi-finals, but there's the list of starters. I don't quite know why they don't put up a season's best for Sedok. He did run in the semis. He has run before he came here as well, but for some reason it's blank. But let's not worry about that. So we have Abati, Sedok, Darian, Shubinkov, Noga, Duvalidis, Nosmi and John. So, from the inside here is the man who set the Italian record this year at 13.28. This is Emmanuel Abate, European under-23 bronze medalist five years ago. Next to him is Gregory Sedok, whose main uh, credentials is that he was the European indoor champion at 60-metre hurdles in 2007. And the season's best to qualify here. And then Garfield Darian. Well, he was second in Barcelona, and he's now reduced his personal best from 13.24 to 13.15 in the semi-final here. Outside him, wearing the blue bib, is Sergei Shubenkov, who took his Russian record down from 13.18 to 13.09 in the semi-final. Last year's under-23 champion. And looked brilliant in the semi-final. Then Artur Noga. Fifth in Barcelona, fifth in the Olympics in Beijing, and a former world junior, European junior, and European under-23 champion. Konstantinos Duvalidis reduced his Greek record from 1331 to 1337 in qualifying for this final. Another man who's a former European under-23 champion. Then Philip Nosmi, who smashed his season's best in both heat and semi-final. And 1347 on that occasion. The Swedish athlete going in lane seven. And the field completed by the German Alexander John, another finalist from Barcelona. He was eighth on that occasion. And a former world youth and European junior bronze medalist. The final, the men's 110 meter hurdles. We're looking at Darian and Shubakov, who were so impressive in winning their semi-finals, going in lanes three and four, respectively. Shubinkov, the fastest in the field. Noga in five. Set. Shubinkov away very well in four with Darian with him and also Sedok has started as well as he usually does. But now it's Shubinkov, the Russian, and Darian and Noga. Those are the three in the spear of that. And it's very, very close, but it's Shubinkov who takes it from Darian. Not quite as quick in the semi, but Shubinkov Brilliant running once again, has taken the gold medal here, running 13.17 on the clock. He was chased hard all the way by the men on either side of him, but he held off Darian to take that silver medal. So for the second successive championships, Darian is the silver medalist in the European 110 meter hurdles. And we have a new champion, time slightly adjusted to 13.16. Serbi Shubankov of Russia is our champion. Fantastic performance there from Shubankov, really confirming his status as Europe's number one man over the barriers at the moment, running faster than he had ever before this championship once again. And of course, he did have slightly quicker semi-final, but here, just looking at the wind reading, well, it's plus 0.5, and he actually ran his semi-final into a 1.1 into a breeze. But uh, here we look at the replay again. Well, he was the first to rise over the first barrier, hurdling very, very cleanly indeed. Just looking, that was the first hurdle he's touched. The fourth hurdle, otherwise, no problems whatsoever for Shubankov. Running very well out on his outside in lane five. Noga to take the bronze. Darian did well as well. Yeah, Noga equaled his own, uh, the, uh, well, he equaled the Polish record at 13.27. And Darian ran 13.20 in second place. So those three men in the favoured lanes, which of course they'd earned by their semi final performances. And Shubinkov is our winner. But uh, all those three men running much faster at these championships than they'd done earlier in the year. In fact, all setting personal bests. The semi final or final. But I think this is a major talent. No question about that. Sergei Shubinkov, mark the name. 
Yes, that's the fifth Russian gold medal of these championships now. First one of today, but Russia is always having a very good championships, despite what we've mentioned at various times, this being very much a team in development, not necessarily bringing all their top names here. Well, let's uh, just look again. In the semi-final, we noticed particularly that Shubankov, I think, went over without touching a hurdle. He's not that far off that this time. Good, clean hurdling by him and indeed by Darian, who we can also see in this shot. Darian just hitting that one, but it doesn't affect him. He's a strong man. Kubinkov just slightly cleaner then over these hurdles. A fine race, a fine event, and good depth in uh, European hurdling at the moment. A little bit harsh to be critical of a champion like this, but his hurdling was just that fractionally bit more ragged than the semi-final, and that was probably why there was the difference in his time. So let's focus on Darian. So he's just slightly nipping those hurdles, but it's certainly not enough to impair his progress towards that silver medal. And Noga, well, he's really having a good season, and he's producing the form of his life here. It's much less smoother over the hurdles, is Noga, than it, the two men in the silver and gold medal position. He really does battle his way through them. Sergei Shubankov taking the gold at 13.16. Garfield Darian, the silver at 13.20. And Otto Noga equaling the Polish record for the bronze at 13.27.